What's good, Broovy Club? It's your one and only Sauce Money B, but you could call me Brian and B Bryce. And in this video, I'm going to help you guys build a Joel and B like my player. So you feel me? Like Joel and B, he's like actually one of my favorite uh, centers in the league right now, and he's the best player on the 76ers. And yeah, he's pretty dope. Pretty dope guy. Funny. Plays good. And yeah, so I'm gonna help you guys create a Joel and Bead like my player. You feel me? By the way, make sure to comment which player to do next. Yo, if you support me, go check out my IRL channel, Brian and NB Bryce. You feel me? Go go subscribe to that. Go subscribe to that channel. And um, if you guys wanna go bump my music, go subscribe to Brian Bryce. You feel me? I got music coming out and I'm trying to drop more music. Before I get into this video, um, I gotta let you guys know that my new song is on all streaming platforms now. So you guys go check it out if y'all want to. Actually, no, if y'all want to. If y'all support BZ on YT, Sauce Money B, y'all go stream that right now. Well, right after this video. Joel Embiid is a center, so go with that position. You feel me? So, right here, he's a uh, he's center right there in the middle with the blue jersey, the Philadelphia jersey. This number is 21. A few you feel me? We'll try to do so, this that's Joel Embiid right man. there. Okay, so, Alright, uh, so I have three archetypes in mind. Uh, you know what your game is? First archetype in mind okay. that I have uh it's the post scoring as the primary and as a secondary skill defense you feel me like he's he's a two-way post score in my opinion you feel me? he's a two-way post score in my opinion you get a lot of badges you get freaking how much badges is that that's like oh that's 20 right there that's 28 bad what 28 badges that's a lot of badges. Am I doing the math correct? Yeah, yo, that's 28 badges, bro. You get 28 badges. That's a lot of badges. So, the ho two Hall of Fame badges you get is Bruiser and Brick Wall. Pretty good Hall of Fame badges. You get Relentless Finisher, Post Spin Technician, Drop Stepper, Up and Under Specialist, Charge Card, and Quick Reflexes as Gold um, badges. And then the eight broad, the the, uh, the eight silver badges you get is difficult shots, posterizer, which difficult shots, posterizer, pretty good badges. Um, pick a roller, pretty good badge. Hustle rebounder, pretty good badge. Defensive stopper, rim protector, chase down artist, pretty good badges. And then you got pick and popper, you feel me? And then mid range dead eye, lob city finisher. You just get a lot of badges. They just throw a lot of badges at you. So let me check out um, the defensive badges you get here. I wish you can get a defensive badge. Uh, I feel I wish you can get a better defensive badge on gold instead of charge card. I wish you can get like a uh, rip protector or freaking chase down artist or uh, defensive stopper at least on gold. You feel me? Like at least one of them on gold instead of charge card. Like, what are we gonna do with charge card? So, anyways. After that, we're gonna go okay. to his exactly body type. Almost done oh. now. Let's continue. Joel Embiid, he's Stand um, right up against the wall there. We're going to Joel Embiid, I think he's okay. seven feet tall. He's seven feet tall, so you're not gonna have to do anything. He's seven feet tall. Nothing's gonna be affected. You don't okay. really gotta you're do anything. Fine. Do you need a cup of water or anything? No, man. All right. All so after that, his uh, his weight. Uh, yeah. Joel Embiid yeah, so. is Next actually, I think, two hundred fifty okay. pounds. So we're going to put the, oh, actually, we just leave it right here. 250 pounds. We're not going to have to do anything at all. So yeah, 250 pounds is Joel and beat away. Okay, one last thing to do. We and need his Joel. wingspan. Okay, sure thing. His official wingspan is actually, right here. he got yes. a long wingspan. It's 89.75 inches. So, oh, actually, yeah, you actually can go lower. Oh, yeah, 80, the closest thing to 80, 89.75 inches is 89.6 inches, which is like two notches down from the original. And let's see the stats. You get 90 shot close, driving dunk 73, contact dunk 75, 
you get a 70 mid open mid range you get a 66 open three-point shot um, you got 86 post offense pretty good 75 I mean not 75 79 rebounding pretty good uh, the blocking is a 74 shot contest 73 steel is a 73 so it's like yeah can't lie the defense could be way better, you feel me? Let me see what happens if we boost it all the way up. Alright, so you get a 79 block, 70, 78 steal, and an 81 shot contest if we put it all the way up. But since we're trying to accurately, like, you know, build this, um, this build, we're gonna go with 89.6 inches. And yeah, this is pretty much the stats. But, like... You feel me? Like you guys can do whatever you guys want. If you guys want to play around with the um with the arms, if you know you're not gonna be taking mid range shots or threes, then you know put jack up the arms. You feel me? Like yo, do what you gotta do. Jack up the arms if you guys want to. You feel me? But that accurate build for um Joel and Bead is you know 89.6 inches, which is the closest thing to 89.75 inches. So, the second archetype that I have in mind for you guys is the post scoring as the primary and sharp shooting as the secondary. Right here, you get 27 badges, which is pretty dope. Wait, no. My bad, you guys don't get 27. Is that? Hold up. 22. Wait, what? You get 20. Why do centers get so much badges? That's a lot of badges. 22. Yo, that's 20, 29 badges. That's almost 30 badges. Am I doing my math right? Yo, you're, you get 29 badges with this build right here. That's a lot of badges. All right, the only thing on Hall of Fame is up and under specialist. Still pretty effective. Um, difficult shots, relentless finisher, post spin technician, drop stepper, bruiser, brick wall. Um, you get way better um, shooting mid range. Um, you get way better shooting silver stat. Um, fuck. <laughs> you get way better silver shooting badges than the last build that I mentioned. You get mid range dead eye, pick and popper, tireless score, posterizer, tear dropper, pick and roller. You feel me? All on um silver, and um you get limitless range now. You feel me? On bronze corner specialist, deep range dead eye. This is pretty. Yo, the badge is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. Badges seem pretty nice for the shooting, shooting wise. And now we're gonna check out the stats. And the open three point shot is 72. Uh, open mid range is 75. Contact dunk and driving dunk is not that impressive. Layups, not the driving layup is not really that impressive. But you get a good standing layup, a good standing shot close shot. Uh, defense is not impressive at all. Uh, you're not really that athletic. It's not really impressive. Your strength is not really that impressive, but you get an 88, you know, post offense, which is pretty good. Uh, 77 rebounding, which is two, which is minus two from the first one. So, you know, this, this archetype is not really that bad. Um, but the archetype that I think is the best is the post scoring, the two way post scorer, or the post scoring as a primary and shot creating as a secondary. Yo, this build be cooking. I'm not gonna lie. You can cook with this build. Look at this. You get, you can cook with this build. You don't get the most badges, but you can cook with this build. Check this out. You get what 10, 17. You get like 25 badges with this build, which is pretty good. The standing layup is good. 92. Driving layup is pretty good. Shot, shot close pretty good. The dunking is pretty good. Uh, mid range is 75. Threes, you can still shoot threes or corner threes. You feel me? Ball control is not bad. Uh, box out, rebounding is not bad. Uh, you know, you're not really that athletic. But check out the yo, the, the, the post scoring, the post offense is a 91. You feel me? So, like I said, you're gonna be cooking with this build. You're good with this build right here. I'm not gonna lie. It's just the defense is not. It's not gonna be better than the, you know, the first build defense, but if you are like, if you're good, if you play with high IQ, you still can play defense. 
probably not gonna play awesome like really great defense if you were a two-way player but you still can play defense if you have like a high iq so this right here i think this is the best build for joel Embiid, or like second second build i would recommend that it's the best is the post scoring the um slash defending and then the third best would be like the you know the post the stretch you feel me the the the, the sharp shooting post scorer so after that yeah this is it's pretty good this is pretty good i think this is the best that's pretty much it Bruvy club thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a like it's free let me know what joel and b build you went with in the comment section below and like i always say 1000 fans is way better than a million views so if you enjoy watching my content support my channel by joining the Bruvy gang and subscribing it's free i'm so thankful for 6,000 subscribers and it really means a lot to me family i've been grinding thank you guys for watching Bruvy club i'm signing out Groovy gang. Groovy. I might switch my hoes like a hypocrite, yeah. like a hypocrite. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I got a dip. Hey. All hypocrites.